Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy. Uh, new comic book day, March 20th. Let's get right to the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I read as many books as I can't, could. <laughs> uh, a lot. Um, there are a couple I didn't read. We'll talk about that in a minute. We do have the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. Which will be one of these Walmart packs. Uh, it's got High Republic number three on it. And I was looking and it looks like there's a foil or a lenticular. I, I don't want to open it. <laughs> I know there's three books in there, I believe. But it looks like one of them might be a a nice I don't know if you win this let us know in the in the uh, comments later anyway it has been absolute chaos over here in my world and we'll get right to the video um, just kind of filling you guys in why sometimes the video coming out on Monday instead of uh, Sunday it's been really busy uh, stuff with my mom I got you know take care of her and the store has been really busy and I appreciate that so Usually how the store works is I get orders in like Wednesday, Thursday, and then I have to pre-screen them all and then bag and board them all, and then I get all the orders, which is like 100 to 150 every week, and then I get it all prepped, right? And then the next day, which is Saturday usually, I pack all day long, like literally all day long. Um, and some on Sunday and then Monday everything goes out so it's been real busy and that's kind of how it works along with everything else going on but um, I was driving the other day in my car I've had it uh, a 2012 or 13 Kia Optima hybrid right I've had it for 10 years and all of a sudden uh, the electrical did some things and my brakes stopped working. Like, they just stopped working. Never had that happen before. Like where you push down and there are no brakes. I was like, wow. A computer chip can control everything. That's a scary thought, man. Um, just totally, the chip went bad for the brake system. And I was at, my brake were gone. So I like put the, um, the uh, foot... Uh, the the other brake, you know, the foot, the uh, parking brake. And I slowed down and pulled over. And then when I was pulling over, of course, the alert went up. And there was another alert for the hybrid battery. And the, on these Kia Optimas, the hybrids, like they have, every once in a while, it's like a glitch. The, the hybrid battery will say something's wrong. And you just pull over and turn the car off and turn it back on. Anyway, I bring it uh, to the Kia. I had it towed there because I can't, there's no brakes. And uh, the guy calls me in the morning and he's like talking all s like sad and soft. I'm like, oh, shit. What is it? And he, uh, well, the chip and the brakes, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. After everything, it's going to be about 2500 bucks. And I was like, oh, God. And he's like, also, uh, <laughs> your system said that your hybrid battery's like going. And I was like. Get out of here, you know, because it always did that. And he's like, yeah, that'll cost $14,000. I was like, get the hell out of here, dude. There's no way. So I've been carless. And I got to go there tomorrow or today because the video's hitting today and make a decision. Like, I think I'm going to get it towed back here. I just don't trust dealerships anymore. I'm going to take it to the other one where I've got it and see what they can find out. But most likely, I have to get a new car, and it's like the worst possible time. Um, the worst possible time. <laughs> so that's what's going on in my life. I hope your guys is better than that. Uh, sorry, I kind of ranted for a while. It's just been a real pain in the butt. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's do some covers, okay? All right, let's start with Amazing Spider-Man 254 Facts Edition. Uh, the 25 copy. I could care less about the to the regular book, but the 25 copy is cool. Um, I bet you that'll be hot, because no one. I don't think many people order that book. 
Uh, Ape Rill, special number one, the Banana Scent cover. Uh, Basic Instinct number four, cover C. Black Panther number two, the Mark Brooks headshot. Catwoman 63, all the covers are good. Cover A by Nakayama, B by Lee, C by Lin, which is my favorite, and D by Sozo. And the lyrics Lee 1 and 25, all good. Cobra Commander number 3, the 10 copy is really cool. Uh, I think the 25 copy will be hot, though. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm showing you the 25 copy, but I think the 50 copy will be hot. It's pretty cool. The limited collector's edition 51 fax edition foil cover B. Oh my God. What a mistake that was pre-selling that book. I got them in. They are way bigger than magazine size. There, there's impossible. There's no bag and board for them. You won't find that bag and board for them. Um, I just, I, it's impossible to ship. So that's going to be a costly mistake on my end, uh, because if someone just bought that and they paid five dollars shipping, I forget it's going to be like triple to ship. That thing's crazy. Man's best number one, the uh, one per store. Once upon a time at the end of the world, number or number thirteen, the five copy. I like that cover. Resurrection of Magneto, number three, the Mark Brooks headshot. Savage Red Sonia, number five, cover A, by uh, Podotion. And cover C by Ancoletto. Something Epic, number eight, cover D, is the Beverly Hills Cop homage. And cover E, I forgot what E was, but it was good. Spawn, 351, cover C, the Booth Virgin. Superman, number 12, the Lee Bermejo cover. Titans, number nine, the Josh Shway cover. Ultimate Spider-Man, number two, second printing. And Ultimate X-Men, number one, second printing. Vampirilla, 667, cover A by Perio. That one's good. The Coens, cover C. And the 20-copy Chaz Zudis Virgin. Vengeance of Moon Knight, number three, the 25-copy Mastrazo. Just so you know. Still hasn't been shown who's the new Moon Knight. Wolverine, the Claremont Busima number one fax edition foil came out. And the 25 copy, I think, is cool. I th that's one thing I like about these. I mean, I like foils, but all the different foil covers, um, they're releasing 25 copy covers that are different than the original cover. So I think that's kind of cool in a way. Wolverine Magipore Knights number two, the Wolverine uh, MMP variant, and the 25 copy Bianchi cover. Wonder Woman number seven, the Sozo cover. X Men Forever number one, the regular cover. <laughs> and the Lyrics Mystique variant, which I think is sick, but I'm telling you what, man, there's so much going on in those X Men books, it's like hard to follow. Plus, right now, my head's not in the game. But anyway. Here's a couple notables. Honorable mentions. Dawn Runner number one. That's a new Ram V book. Knuckleverse number zero. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Untold Destiny, the Foot Clan number one cover A. And cover C, the Los Muertos cover. Those books came out. All right. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do like and comment your comment will get you entered into the giveaway every week all right here we go top 10 star wars thrawn alliances number three the one book i didn't read or i read, didn't read two books uh number three uh, first team appearance of that gersick or something don't really care to be honest with you i'm also putting invincible iron man number 16 the jang cover which is sick and the Mark Brooks headshot, which I really like too. It says Tony gets new suits. What's new? Every every damn book, there's a new suit. Every time. Number nine, Spider-Woman number five kind of snuck in there. 
Spider Boy is a team up between Spider Woman and Spider Boy, and Spider Boy talks about the past, which no one remembers, and he teamed up with her before. And there's a character called the Red Heron in there, um, who I've never heard of, so that's a first appearance. Not like it's a big deal. Number eight is Fantastic Four, number 18. Here's the Hildebrand Torch cover. That was actually a decent read. And at the end, there's like a cameo of a new S.H.I.E.L.D. corporation. Number seven is Star Wars Visions, Takashi Okazaki, number one, the Peach Momo cover. And I really like the 25 copy Protasio. Um, I liked this book a lot. I just like the art. There's not a lot to read, but it's just cool. Number six is Star Wars Jingle Fett, number one. Here's a Chew cover. That was a good read, too. Uh, first appearance of Y399. It's like a robot that runs like a bounty hunter service. Uh, who gets smoked at the end. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Decent read, though. A lot of Star Wars this week. Number five, Star Wars The High Republic, number five. Here's the Cola Woman's History cover. Pretty, a lot of people ordered that. And here's the 25 copy, Cam and Coley. Uh, this was a good story, too. And they bring back a bunch of old characters. And I believe there's a cameo appearance at the end. But this book ties in everything from the past, brings a lot of people back. So we'll see what happens after this. All right. It's a weird week, guys. Uh, number four is Spider-Boy number five, the regular cover I really like. I really like the Rose Besh, too. So this is more about Madame Monstrosity, the person that so-called created Spider-Boy. And uh, a little origin of her, how she was trying to impress the high evolutionary with her creations. And he came to visit, and he was coming to see Spider-Boy. And she had a lineup of all these people she created, and he wasn't there. So he left. He was, like, unimpressed. It also talks about Spider-Boy, how his uh, named some of the creations or something like that. I think number six, which is up for pre-order now, will be a big book, um, bigger. But this was decent. I got to tell you, um, the top three, it's just kind of, for me... Not too exciting this week, but I'm still going to tell you about them. Number th except for this book. This book was good. Number three is Infernals number two. I'm showing you cover B. That is a good read. That is a really good read. One of the better, of, pro probably the best read out of all these this week for sure. Um, you might want to check out Infernals. It's pretty good. All right. It was hard to do number two and number one, so it's just... Do it this way. Number two, Web of Spider-Man, number one, the Capullo cover. I love that cover. And the 25 copy Medina. So this book has multiple stories in there. Um, You know, honestly, this should be number one. Okay, but anyway, multiple stories in there. They're re Kane, the Scarlet Spider's coming back. And a first appearance of Gwen Stacy as the Green Goblin. So get ready for that. I don't think that's happened before. So that could make this book pretty big. Besides the cover A, it's pretty sick. And I should have put it in number one. But I'm going to go ahead and just stick with this list now. Number one was Batman Superman World's Finest, number 25. Cover G with uh, William Shatner on the cover. But... That's not why it's number one. Well, let's just pretend it was number two, but it is number one for right now because I don't want to deal with it. Um, it's origin story of the first meeting between the Joker and Lex Luthor, and it's pretty interesting. Lex Luthor, like, they turn... Lex Luthor's dressed up like someone like at Arkham, and Batman and Superman bring Joker, and, and they leave, and they give him to Lex Luthor, and Lex Luthor uncovers himself and takes Joker with him. And that he uses the Joker to do all this weird stuff, like on this hunt for this special thing. And he has like a neck thing around him so he can't escape. And um, basically they find this heart-shaped crystal thing which shows the future. 
and it shows first it shows Lex Luthor's future of like killing Superman and then the Joker grabs it and sees what he wants for his like it's what they want for their future and Lex sees Joker's envisioning of the future and it's like crazy and they kind of talk about Joker's all over the place so it kind of fits into the normal Batman story now where it's going with failsafe in the future but Lex saw how twisted Joker was and uh in this issue which I thought was interesting anyway it's the first meeting between those two kind of interesting story so yeah let's just finish this up because I am super exhausted thanks so much for watching let's do the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway right here again all you had to do was like subscribe and comment and you could win the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway the winner is Neo Knight 3320 Neo Knight Neo Knight message me at my store economicsandcomics.com with your name and address you're going to get this three pack we'll see what's in it and that's it for this week guys I gotta go you could still get your Marvel um, and Diamond pre-orders in tonight if you haven't already but DC's over with um, get it in by 9 p.m. Eastern And we will see you sickos later.